We are happy to note that uh, so far we don't have any positive case in this county. And that's very good news. So we'd like to thank uh, the public for following um, the advice given by professionals and the Minister of Health. Uh, but of course, there are a few challenges um, in enforcement, in the practicability of some of the um, advice or, um, which was given. So we have come to update you um, on where we are and uh, inform you of other measures which will enhance whatever we are doing. Um, the sensitization of the public continues and the public response is fairly good, but they need to put more effort. This situation is real. Corona is a threat. It can come any time. We need to change our lifestyles and our people need to take that message very seriously, those who are not doing it. Um, number one, we have uh, problems with the control of movement from the counties which are uh, under lockdown, including Nairobi. There are some criminals who have commercialized and we are taking benefit of that situation by engaging in corruption and other activities and they move people from Nairobi to here. And we want that situation um, not to continue, we will not allow it. Therefore, from today, we want to close all vehicular movement across the bridge, except the lorries. So there will be no border borders which will move either into town or out of town across that bridge. There will be no tuk-tuks, there will be no matatus, there will be no saloon cars. Only lorries will be allowed and people on foot. We have accommodated to allow people to move on foot from Mororo because there are thousands of people who work from Mororo in Garissa town. Therefore, we don't want to lock them out. It's a reality that they are part of our population, only that they have reasons to live across in another county. Therefore, those people who are footing across the bridge will be allowed. But no vehicle will be allowed to move across the bridge, either from here or from elsewhere, except the lorries, which are bringing um, food and other commodities which have been allowed. Um, we have challenges with other entry points. There are people being brought all the way from Mandera, Wajia, who are being brought to Madogo, transferred into vehicles and then ferried to Nairobi. Therefore, we are going to close, uh, close our border with Wajir, with Isiolo, from today. So there will be no vehicles moving from Isiolo and the Wajir into Garissa from today. In order to cut off this commercial ring of transporting people from other um, counties and transiting through us to Nairobi, I think we will stop them at the border in wherever it is with Wajer. Our border with Somalia is officially closed. Unfortunately, I think there are positive cases in border areas of Somalia, including Kolbio. And ideally there should be no movement because that border is officially closed, but it's a reality that there's still movement, so we want to add once more by saying that there will be no, we will close our border with Somalia. And we want to ask our enforcement agencies to ensure that nobody crosses uh, from uh, the Somali border to Kenya. We have a lot of movement also from um, um, Lamu through Ijara. So we will close also the road from Ijara to Lamu through Wema 
will be officially closed so there will be no traffic at all which will flow from there um, we have had challenges with the number of uh, I think there have been um, in terms of um, the thermal guns um, were very few so we have acquired um, 10 more thermal guns and we will buy 40 others to ensure that uh, um, the movement across the bridge and in, in other areas um, will, will be easy because um, people's uh, temperatures will be easily measured so that those who have some issues can be isolated. So that is one measure. I know everybody in town today has a, a mask, but it's not obvious that everybody can afford a mask. It might cost 30 shillings or 50 shillings or 75 shillings. I know journalists and media people are very rich, you can afford, but it's not obvious that everybody can afford a mask. Therefore, we are going to acquire 100,000 masks for distribution to our population, mainly in this town, so that everybody can engage, uh, can have easy access to, to these masks. We're in the month of Ramadan, and because of the slowdown in activities, including uh, livestock trade, um, other activities of trade, m very many families are exposed and might not be able to get access to the necessities of life, including food. Therefore, the county is going to give support uh, through food uh, vouchers to 6,000 families um, across the county. Uh, that's about 50,000 people or so. Um, we have also made an appeal to our partners and the NGOs who are present here. And we have formed a social county social welfare committee where we will join efforts. And these NGOs are going to support this um, initiative to give uh, uh, help or support to those vulnerable families. Therefore, we have formed a committee with UNICEF, UNHCR, WFP, Kenya Red Cross, Save the Children, Mercy Corps, Care Kenya, PGI, Womankind Kenya, LMS, SCDI, uh, SCDI VOCA, NDMA, and Safaricom. And uh, they will have uh, a social a county social welfare committee where they will pull resources together and they will support this food voucher program to our vulnerable communities across the county. Um, I think that is, um, we have statistics here to show the response, um, including the total suspected cases which were responded to were 24, uh, 14 males and 10 females. Um, the number of people admitted currently in the isolation unit are 13 uh, who were admitted at one time or the other. The number admitted at the Jara one time was one person who turned negative. The number ad admitted at the DAB was one. The number of samples collected 16. Uh, the samples negative uh, 13. Positive zero, pending results three. Um, this is statistics, I think, which shows what activities were going on. Um, that is for um, Corona or COVID-19. The other issue we have is, uh, this is the rainy season. Our upstream dams are full to the brim. A notice was uh, issued by the Minister of Energy. The water levels in the river today are 5.1 meters. And at 5.5 or 5.4, the river floods. We want to appeal to our people who are uh, along the river banks 
or in lower areas to move out of uh, the river banks and move to higher areas. Finally, this is Ramadan season, and there's a debate whether people should go back to the mosques. Um, some people have appealed for a curfew times to be changed. Um, I want to say that we don't want anything to change. The health of the people is more important than anything else. Therefore, as our religious leaders have decided, um, no mosque will be reopened. In terms of uh, timings, we said people should not gather, there will be, there will be no joint iftars. The Grand Mufti of Saudi Arabia, who is the biggest religious leader internationally or globally, has issued a fatwa saying that people should fast at, at home, should pray at home, including uh, Taraweh. Therefore, we want to maintain the status quo. No mosques should be opened. And for the extra time, I don't think we need any extra time. If at 7 p.m. you are at home and you have uh, broken your iftar there, um, then you should stay there. Where will you go? I mean, even if you are given 10, 10 p.m. So I think that appeal is not based on anything. Um, things should remain as they are. The curfew time should remain at 7 p.m. And um, life will continue. This is a Ramadan like no any other we have seen. But these are extraordinary times. They extra require extraordinary measures. And um, we want things to remain the way they are. Thank you very much.